Yes, I am doing good. great. Good, good, good. We're doing real good. You look nice. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, shout out. Watch out. She did a really good job. Yes. Um, <laughs> okay. I'm excited to be here. I'm excited for what we're about to talk about. Yes. Amen. There's been some controversy. So I found out today. Okay. Mm-hmm. There's been some controversy with the pastor. I was going to say we're not going to name any names, but we're putting a screenshot. And this isn't a dig, but we're just going to talk about the recent message, Pastor uh, Michael Todd. I was about to say uh-huh. Marvin Jackson, Lord. Uh-huh. No, 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 no. Michael Todd um, had a had a message where he said, uh, "What did he say?" He's so talking about shot. it's talking about forgiveness. Yes. The forgiveness university is what it's talking about. Mm-hmm. But people are saying, uh, he said, you can't talking go to sin. hell right. for sin. But unbelief. But unbelief. Yeah, can you believe that? So it's been a lot of topics <laughs> that's going around. I'm getting text messages and questions being asked about it. So we said, hey, we'll go ahead and go live. Right. Talk we'll about talk about bit. it a we'll little bit. It. We'll talk about it a little <laughs> bit. Not go to hell for sin. Oh. Yeah. Just um, so, don't just even sound not, right. Just for not mm. believing. Mm. Not believing. Right. But Jesus yeah. died for your sins. So you would go to hell. <laughs> but, yeah. Okay. yeah. So, okay. so how that? you want to step out? Me? Well, let's, my opinion, well the, the first thing we'll do, let's go to the scripture. That he was referencing. Yes. Okay. Is it, Corinthians? it is in Second Corinthians yep. five, verse number nineteen. Mm-hmm. And so Pastor Marvin has that, I believe, in the NIV, which yeah. is the text in which he was coming from. It says that God was reconciled the wor- reconciling the world to himself in Christ. Amen. And not com- not counting people's sins against them. And he has committed us to the message of reconciliation. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Can, can we read it in a different version? Yes, I'll yeah. read it in King James version. Uh huh. King James says, and this is Second Corinthians, the fifth chapter, verse number nineteen, to wit that God was in Christ reconciling the world unto Himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them. And hath committed unto us the word of reconciliation. What's that mean, Pastor? So let's 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 take a look at that. When we are forgiven of our sins, mm-hmm. when we are forgiven of our sins, mm-hmm. then we are in a position to go and reconcile people back to Christ. Mm-hmm. They have to follow the same pattern. Mm-hmm. of being forgiven of their sins. Mm-hmm. So if you go up a couple of scriptures above that into verse number 17, it says, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Mm-hmm. All things are passed away. Right. Behold, all things are become new. Mm-hmm. So you have to realize that uh, when you are in Christ, mm-hmm. then the old nature or the old man is passed away right. and the new man is coming on. Then you can go down and begin to read the other scriptures where it's talking about reconciliation because when we get saved, guess what? We are to reconcile mm-hmm. and to bring people into the right place to know Jesus, ask him to forgive you of your sins so that they can be reconciled mm-hmm. unto God. Mm-hmm. Wait a minute. Okay. I'm going to read in the Amplified. I'm going to read down a little bit. Yeah, go down a little bit. Verse 21 says, Okay. um, And he made Christ who knew no sin. Uh Uh-huh. Uh-huh. To be judicially be sin 
on our behalf mm. so that in him we would become the righteousness of God. Uh -huh. That is, we would be made acceptable to him uh -huh. and be placed in a right relationship uh -huh. with him. With him. Mm. Uh -huh. By his gracious loving kindness. Uh -huh. Amen. So if, if you read from 19 down, it's telling you that we have been committed to the reconciling people unto God. Uh huh. Yeah. It, it, sin is still sin. Yes. Amen. Unbelief is still sin. Yes, it is. Okay. And, um, if we are, uh, uh, not going to hell because of sin, and how are you going to have unbelief? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it seems so un uh, uh, biblical. It, it makes you scratch your head <laughs> and, and, and uh, try to clean your ears out to see if you really heard what was said. Yeah. yeah. You know, because I can't believe that he would say that you're not going to hell for sin. Right. When, when the Bible says in, the wages of sin yeah, are for the wages, wages of, of sin, sin are death. It, is death. Yeah. But the gift, the gift of God, of God. Yeah, is that's eternal Jesus. life. And who's the gift? Jesus, Jesus right. is the gift. Accepting okay. him. Mm -hmm. Accepting him. I think, he try, I think people try to find accommodations for uh -huh. him. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Um, I like and that. And the truth of the matter is, when you are in Christ, there is mercy for sin. Mm -hmm. So when you are in Christ, and there's sin grace. Has no, and there's right, grace. There's grace yeah. right? I think people will want that to be applicable when you're mm -hmm. not living right. I'm sorry, it's not applicable. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't work that way. So when you're in Christ, yes, there's mercy, there's grace, there is reconciliation. Uh -huh. There is relationship with the Father. You know, that doesn't give you leeway to just go out and do whatever you and want do what to you do. Want to but do. if you are struggling in mm -hmm. somewhere, there is that mercy and grace because sin no longer has the power over you when you mm -hmm. are in Christ. Uh -huh. But if I want to go lay up with Day Day, <laughs> uh -oh, Day -Day. I'm not talking about Jesus <laughs> and I'm not really worried about Jesus. And I think, well, I know him. I know he's real. So if I die tomorrow, I'm good. Well, I mean, the Bible also talks about the devil knows that God is real, too. Uh -huh. He's going to heaven. So, wait, wait, wait. wait. Yeah. I got, oh, sorry. oh, it's hot topic. Yeah, I got, I got, I got one more interpretation to read. Okay. okay. So this is going to make it even more more spicy, I guess. All right, well, that's have some hot sauce. Let's yeah, the, the, the New Living Translation says, uh -huh. in verse 21, it says, For God made Christ, who never knew sin, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, my bad. Who never sinned. Okay. Never sinned. And to be an offering for our sin. Okay. Yes. So how is it unbelief? He's not, he's not saying he made him an offering for our unbelief. He's saying he's making them an offering for, for our, our sin. sin. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so that we could be made right with God through Christ. Uh huh. Ah, can you believe that we are being made right, right. Uh -huh. with God uh -huh. through Christ? Uh huh. And our sin is not imputed unto us. Right, because we are in Christ. Oh, yeah. Right. We have repented. Right. right. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. became in Christ. <laughs> and I, I, and I want to add on to that. Okay. okay. You know, because it says, oh, if I just believe, uh huh. Then I'm not going to hell if I believe. Mm hmm. Okay. And that was also implied. Yeah, I, I heard the little segment that, mm -hmm. that you highlighted is that I'm not going to hell. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, what that does is almost gives you a free pass, a ghetto pass. to go out and sin and live however you want to live mm -hmm. as long as you believe. Mm -hmm. But hold on. If we go over to James, mm -hmm. the second chapter in mm -hmm. verse number 19, mm -hmm. it says, thou believest that there is one God. We mm -hmm. all believe there's one God, right? Mm -hmm. right? Thou doest well. Mm -hmm. The devils mm -hmm. also <laughs> believe and tremble, but the devils ain't going to heaven. Right. All right. Mm -hmm. So you can believe all you want, but if you are still living in sin mm -hmm. and you haven't repented of your right. sin, okay. you are still on your way to hell. Oh. Because that defeats the purpose in Jesus dying on the cross right. mm -hmm. to make a way for us to be reconciled, to be reconciled unto right. God, not to give us a pass. That's when Paul says, shall we continue in sin that mm -hmm. grace may abound much more? No, no, we should not. 
You know, if you read over in Romans, the seventh chapter, it says the things that I would do, I don't do and what I should do. Mm -hmm. But then he goes on and says, hey, you got to there comes a point in your walk where you got to make a decision and you got to make a choice that I'm not going to live that way anymore. Mm -hmm. And that's just plain and simple when you look at that. And so when you think about this, the first thing I want to do is squash the, the bug in the room by saying, if you don't repent. And you don't give your life to Christ, mm -hmm. then guess what? You're not gonna make it in. Mm -hmm. So the righteous scarcely make it in. I right. Thought about that. So uh, you have to repent. Yeah. You have to. Re you must repent of your sins. And we're gonna take a look at a couple of scriptures to just kind of talk about what Jesus says. Repent. Mm -hmm. If you go over into Matthew, I believe it's the third chapter. When John the Baptist was preaching and what was you think he was talking about? Mm. Repent <laughs> for the kingdom of God is at hand. And not only that, he said, bring me fruits of repentance. Mm. Bring me something to show that you repent. Bring me something to show that you that that, hey, I'm giving this up and I'm walking away from that. So we have to be careful of when we are saying, no, uh, uh, yeah. we, we can't as the preachers of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I can't make it so sugary sweet to give somebody a pass to go out and go sin when he says, be ye holy mm -hmm. for I am holy. Mm -hmm. Ain't that what it said? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, now let's let's take a look. Oh, let's go on over to First John real quick. We're gonna go over to First John, and we're gonna look in the first chapter, and let's drop on down to good old verse number nine. Verse number nine says, uh, it, "Matter of fact, we can even go up to verse number seven. Mm -hmm. It says, but if we walk in the light, as He is in the light." We have fellowship one with another mm -hmm. and the blood of Jesus and his, and his son cleanses us from all sin. Mm -hmm. There's all sin again. Mm -hmm. You got to be redeemed from sin. Christ died upon the cross for us to come out of sin. I don't care what sin it is. It could be any sin, mm -hmm. but Christ died for, for that. that and yeah. he gave us a redemptive for us to be able to be put in the right place with God the Father. Verse number eight says, if we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. Number nine, this is what I want us to see. If we confess our sins, mm -hmm. he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Ain't that all right? Mm -hmm. So I have to open up my mouth and I have to ask God to forgive us. So sometimes if we're looking at scripture and like you said, we can, we can take it out of context mm -hmm. we, to fit what, what we want to do. This is what God is saying. That may not be what he's saying, but you mm -hmm. can make it out to do whatever to give yourself a pass at whatever you're trying to do. And verse number 10, it says, if we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. Now, that's just the word. Mm -hmm. What you have to add on to that, Pastor? Uh, I'm, I'm in uh, first John, the second chapter. OK. And it says, uh. Verse two says, and he is the propi propitiation uh -huh. of our sins. All right. And not of ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. Mm. It says, and hereby we know that we know him if we keep his commandments. Ah. He says, I know him. He that says, I know him and keepeth not his commandments is a liar. And the mm. truth is not in him. Mm. It says, but whosoever keepeth the word in him verily is the love of God perfected mm. whereby we know we know we we know we that are in him mm -hmm. we know we that are in him yeah he says he that <laughs> saith he abided in him ought himself also so to walk even as he walked mm -hmm. brethren I write a new commandment unto you uh-huh but an old commandment, which ye have from the beginning, the old commandment is 
they which ye have heard from the beginning. And again, a new commandment I write unto you. Well, I guess I should have stopped. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> it says, which thing is true in him and in you? Because the darkness is past and the true light mm. now shining. Mm. The true light. Yeah, nine verse nine says, "He that saith he is in the light and hateth his brother is in darkness even until now." Uh huh. Now, as we're talking here, mm -hmm. you have to you realize that okay, you can go to hell if you don't repent. Hell was not a place that was created for mankind oh, yeah. to go to mm -hmm. because we have a free will to either choose Christ or not choose him. That is your decision if you want to do that. It is our job as the gospels and the, uh, of Jesus Christ, preaching the gospel of mm -hmm. Jesus Christ mm -hmm. as ministers, pastors, uh, evangelists, even if you just got saved on yesterday right. and mm -hmm. you receive Christ into your heart, it's now your job to continue to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. Right. The Bible says go and make disciples. But in the process of you making disciples, you have to be preaching Jesus. Amen. Yeah, you, can't, you know, I, I don't, I think, I, I'm just going to say you mean well, but you can mean well all day and be wrong. Uh -huh. You know, and I think we just have to be careful when we're talking about um, anything concerning what Jesus said. Because uh -huh. sometimes you might be the only person that someone comes, comes in contact with as a representative of Christ. Uh -huh. And if you're telling them anything, you know, then you could be leading them to a place where right. they could be in bondage to something. Uh -huh. You know, I know uh -huh. there's scripture we talked about earlier. God even... Um, <laughs> You know, there were people that were seeking healing yes. um, or seeking right standing with God. Yes. I, I remember the scripture, I'm paraphrasing right now, about Rahab the prostitute. Mm. And everyone came to condemn her. And they said, under the law, we should stone her. That's what the Pharisees said. Mm -hmm. And Christ said, well, you know, he, he told them uh, he, he was without out sin, sin cast, the, cast first the first stone. And everybody was like, well, I'm going home. So then, <laughs> so then Rahab was sitting there. She felt she, that was the first time I think, well, they said she battled. I know she battled with her sin of, you know, being a prostitute, but she came to terms with the fact that, dang, you know, I'm in sin. And, you know, Jesus said, where are your accusers? And she said, no, no one, Lord, no one's here. And she said, he said, there, go ahead. Um, I condemn, so I don't condemn you. Go and be free. Do not sin anymore. Sin, yeah, so, sin, you know, go it's, and it's sin no more. Right. Go yeah. and sin no more. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if if he's saying that obviously sin is something that separates relationship with right. him, you know, or separates, it, it, it puts you in a place of guilt. The enemy does it so that you feel guilty and, oh, I can't come back to, to Christ. But, you know. I don't know if you read this scripture, uh -huh. but listen to this. It says, if we say we have no sin. Uh-huh. We lie. We deceive ourselves. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And the truth is not in us. Uh -huh. It says, if we confess our sins, this is First John, the first chapter, um, where verse 8 and verse 9 says, if we confess our sins, wait a minute. Uh -huh. I thought it was unbelief. Uh -huh. He is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Uh -huh. yes. It says, if we say we have not sinned, we, we make him a liar, him a liar mm -hmm. and the word is not in us. Mm -hmm. So how do we get from a place where we're saying that um, we don't go to hell for sin? We go to hell for, for unbelief. unbelief. For, yeah, for not believing. You know, yeah. not, you, you, you could say that in a particular way because of your unbelief, you go into hell. But I would say that because of your sin, there's a lot of things that you need to uh, uh, get in right standings with God. Because if you're not right with God and if you don't confess your sin, it's a part of faith to believe that if you confess your sins, he will forgive, mm -hmm. you. He will forgive mm -hmm. you, mm -hmm. you know, and he would cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Mm -hmm. If you look at uh, uh, um, John, not mm -hmm. John. Um, Romans, the 10th chapter, it says, mm -hmm. if you confess your, with your mouth and believe in your heart mm -hmm. 
that God raised Jesus from the dead, thou shalt be saved. So it's a part of confessing your sins and believing that God raised Jesus from the dead that brings you to the right standings with God. Right. So right. if if he wants to take that out of the Bible, I can say maybe your unbelief mm -hmm. saves you, but it's your sin that convicts you and, and causes you mm -hmm. to die because of sin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and in reference to the lady that you, you were mentioning mm -hmm. earlier, that was the woman who mm -hmm. was caught in the act of adultery. Oh, adultery. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, no, Rahab was somewhere. She still oh, was. You, you it got, was you in got, the Old Testament. You got the right one. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was in the Old Testament. It was another one. But, but it, it was, was another one. Yeah, it was another know? one. So, yeah, the, the woman, uh, you know, like you said, when you get called out, mm. you know, they try to catch you. Hey, we caught you in the very act. Yes. Hey, 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 you hey. know? <laughs> <laughs> I got you in the very act of well, doing look, that. How thing. they catch her in the bedroom with somebody? Well, I want to know was the window <laughs> open? Oh, this is the thing. This is like no. I mean, this is they... like, you know the word is so like applicable to now, right? Mm -hmm. Because you telling me I'm wrong, uh -huh. but you caught me. Yeah, so you you, you, you peeked. You, you, you up here peeking, right? You like, looking well, around the corner, talking about oh, oh yeah, yeah. But but let's get her now. Why are you in a position to catch me if if you living right? Why are you trying? Oh, look, look, it was she a had, setup. Look, she had to be oh, naked. So they, to be. Yeah. they grab, they grabbing her <laughs> out, of, out of a bedroom. It said in the act. And pulling her to the, yeah. to the, to the church. Yeah, man. <laughs> hey. Well, somebody oh, brought her a robe. No, ah, yeah, someone got her something. They put it, they put the sheet around her. <laughs> 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 yeah, the, you know, mm. when you get caught in the midst of something. Uh -huh. And you know what? That's what the devil wants from you. Mm -hmm. He wants you to get caught in the midst of something. Yeah. But in thank midst, God for in, Jesus. Look, in the midst of your unbelief. Yeah. <laughs> let me tell you something. The Bible says that Jesus can do many miracles. Because. Because mm -hmm. of their unbelief. Mm -hmm. So guess what? Unbelief keeps people from receiving a healing. Mm -hmm. Keeps them from receiving yes. deliverance. Yes. Keeps them from being made whole when you mm -hmm. walk in unbelief. Yes. So I can, now I'll go with you on that. Mm -hmm. Unbelief will hold you out on some things. Uh, uh, if you go over to Mark, the sixth chapter, mm -hmm. it says, and he could have, and he could there do no mighty work. And I got to put my glasses back on <laughs> so I can see clearly. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. We want to thank the Lord because yeah. he's good. He says, and he could there do no mighty work, save that he laid his hands upon a few sick folk and healed them. Mm -hmm. Verse number six. And he marveled because of their unbelief. Mm -hmm. And he went around about the villages teaching. So people couldn't even get saved. They couldn't not necessarily save. They couldn't get healed because of their unbelief. Now, isn't that something that says he marveled because of their unbelief? So you just seen a man's leg stretch out in front of you. And you still can't. And you like, man, I still can't believe it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Isn't that amazing? So, you know, when you don't believe God and you don't repent of your sins, like you said, anytime as I preached on Sunday, Mark, the second chapter about the paraplegic man. Listen here. The man had Jesus looked at him and said, your sins be forgiven. Mm -hmm. Your sins have to be forgiven in order yes. for you to walk out what God has for you. Well, the, this is the question. I'm okay. sorry. No, go ahead. <laughs> this is the question. So we're coming at it from an approach of your sins have to be forgiven in order for you to have a relationship with God. Well, uh -huh. We got to be real. Maybe these people don't want a relationship with God. Yeah. Maybe these okay. people, it's coming from an approach and I'm not out here pointing the finger at anybody because we didn't all have their story, our story, okay. mm -hmm. including myself. But mm -hmm. I got you, I got you. Yeah. Got your got story. You. Yeah. <laughs> got your story. To me, the message is a quick fix. Oh. You know, mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's Talk a about it. Mm -hmm. Talk about it. It's a, you know, you ain't really got to do all that. You know, we're, we're coming from an approach about 
being wanted to be in right standing or want to have relationships. Some people don't want relationships. Mm. They just want to be able to do what they want to do mm-hmm. and be able to say, okay, Lord, you know Yeah, what? fix it. Fix it. Yeah, you know, make me right. Right. And, and then I want to go back and do what yeah, I want to do. I want to go we back. We all have been there. Go yeah. back they get hard. He's like, oh, I'm going to do right. <laughs> and then he starts turning around. He's like, I think I'm all over at this one. Yeah. So, you know, and, uh, I think that's what I saw when I saw the message. Just okay. giving people a, a reason. An open door. An open door no. to say, okay, I'm going I'm I'm to do, do my thing. Well, you I'm know, it, it, even in that, I had, we were all sitting around discussing and I was talking with the, with the young adults. Hmm. And I said, you know, if I have all of these gimmicks hmm. and all of these little things like, uh, the title of this series is F you. <laughs> now, before I got saved, we all knew what that meant. Right. I want you to go and say that to your mama or your grandmama right now. And let's see the <laughs> response that you get. It is <laughs> not going to be. Wait, 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 yeah, University. yeah. You forgive me. Yeah, it's University. not going to be forgiveness. University. Oh, no, no, no. Mm-mm. Because it's embedded in the minds of people of what <laughs> right, that means. Right, so right. you come out now. Yeah, it's catchy. Right. Mm. But what happens when the catchiness goes away? What's going to sustain them? What will sustain you Mm. off a flashy topic? Mm. You know, Mm -hmm. it has to be the substance of the word of God. As I said before. You remember with that one uh, prophet priest. What was that? (laughs) Easter message. You know what? (laughs) We ain't going to even mess with that. No, that was a live message that we were in. Yeah. We had to wrap it up. We had to wrap it up and leave. And get up out of there. And and, and if we could, you know what? Because God has sanctified our minds. Yeah, he sanctified our ears and everything. He sanctified our ears. In the context that he used how Jesus wanted to ride you, that wasn't right. So I tell you what. Yeah. You got to know the truth for yourself. Oh, yeah. And you how gotta, to get the you truth. You got to guard your heart. You got to guard your heart. Yeah. And you got to get in that word. You know, we can, sit, we can stand up here and preach the word. But guess what? If I read it in the wrong version, it's going to. It's going to take you all the way somewhere else. Yeah. I'm a straight KJV. Now, I'll read another version of it, but I want to encourage everybody. Get in your word for yourself. Mm-hmm. When you see a scripture, and, and and you better go read above it and read below it so that you can have a clear understanding of mm-hmm. what's being said. Yeah. Because if you don't read the word, you can't say, oh, yeah, what that preacher said when the devil came up and said, hey, outside your face. <laughs> You better be saying, you better know okay, some work. I know her. Yeah, yeah. Who are you? But, who are but, you? But you know, you? but you know, they, they teach us classes on manipulation. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Who teach classes on manipulation? In college. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, persuasion. Yeah. Classes. Persuasion. Yeah. Manipulation. Mm. Deception. Mm. You know, it's, it's, a Uh-oh. it's almost a, a, a science. Of you fooling somebody. Ooh. And when you get people in the church fooling the people of God, you got a problem. You got a problem because the, the, the mind is something that, that, uh, you have to protect. Yes, yes, it is. And if you don't protect it and if you don't get the truth, like I talked about the truth on Sunday, yes. if you don't get the truth, uh huh. You're gonna be wandering in darkness for a long time. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. That was good. That was good. Y'all. Thank y'all for joining. We'll be back two weeks. In a month. In a month. Yeah. yeah. A, mo- a moment with uh pastor and pastor. Yes. And our and lovely host. and our lovely host EJ. EJ. <laughs> All right. I hope y'all got something. Yeah. Sure you yes. Love y'all. Love it. Oh, so we'll be also engaged with us because we're going to be posing mm. um, some questions or some topics that you guys might want to talk about. Yeah. We might open the opportunity for you guys to engage and pose those mm. ideas. So don't be shy when mm. we give the opportunity. <laughs> we want you to engage with us and we love you guys. Yeah. And we will see you in a Next time. Hey. Next time. And get off of F. University. Hey, and I believe your heart. Repent. Romans 10, 9 through 10. It's on the screen. We love y'all. Bye. 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 <laughs>